Today on Knife Banner, we're doing something a little different. Gotta go get the knife library. Let's talk knives. What's up everybody? Welcome to Knife Bander. Today we are doing something a little different. Now, I have this new co-host. It's called Bessie, the toolbox. Now, Bessie has some secrets and we're gonna open up some of those secrets and share some story time. So, here we go, let's just jump right into it. Bessie, we gotta open her up, unlocks the drawers, boom. First knife, are you ready? Is the ZT022. Now, let's talk about this knife a little bit. It's 20 CV blade, carbon fiber, it's little. But, here's the story about this one. So when this knife first came out, I was like, oh, it's a 022, like a 22 shell for a 22 rifle or whatever. And so we did a photo of the ZT022 balancing on a 22 shell. This is a 22 short, so it's kind of smaller, but we were able to balance it. And then ZT kind of started this little battle with us of, what we can balance our knives on. And so later that day, me and Zach stacked two 22 shells and balanced the ZT-022 on top for an image. Now, I know a lot of people out there were like, Photoshopped. Not the case, not even a little bit. We spent probably like 45 minutes trying to get it balanced. Once we finally got it balanced, we were like, don't move and we were able to get the photo and post it on the Instagram. I'm sure there's gonna be some photos popping in here, a little, little bit of story, maybe some video of each of these stories. So this right here, you can get a ZT-022 for around $200. Of course, always check the uh, website because of listings that could have been in stock or out of stock or different color variations like always. All right, Bessie, what else you got for me? Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, so this is the Spyderco Delica, right? In the light blue, obviously, with the four-way reversible pocket clip. This is VG10 steel. Now, this knife is special for a couple reasons. One, forever ago, a few years back, Ben and Jamie made this video. It's the salt video. It's infamous. If you haven't seen it, here's some footage of it. We're going to show it. So the whole idea was to take different knife steels and take them up to the Great Salt Lake, have them soak in the water for, it was days. I can't even remember how many days. This was another steel that we threw in there just to see what would happen. Now, what is super cool about this, even though it's VG10 and it did corrode quite a bit, there was some buildup on it, but we were able to take it apart and scrub it all completely clean and it's still here today. So this knife has been through 
a ton. And the video, I mean, the video proves it. The time lapse of those going through the jars and the salt, crazy. You're crazy. All right, guys, and the Delica goes for $84 on the website. Of course, again, check the website because the Delica, we have a lot of different options, a lot, a lot of different scales, styles, and colors, all the things. So jump on the site, check out a Delica. All right, guys, Benchmade bug out. You guys know the deal. This is what it is. You know it. But we did a very special video on this steel. Now, it was the acid washing at home video. Can't remember the exact title. I'm sure Carson and Levi will throw it up on the screen. The cool thing about this knife is they were able to take it and uh, do a how to knife on how to acid etch your blade. And then what they did was they put it in a tumbler, a homemade tumbler with some rocks. I'm pretty sure they were just some smooth looking rocks. And they were able to get this really cool tumbled blade finish on this. Now, I think it's extra cool because I definitely like to customize my stuff kind of a lot. Wouldn't you agree, Bessie? See, I like to do it. and. And it's so fun to have something unique and exciting and not the norm. Cause then when someone pocket checks you, you're like, dude, check out this custom thing. Woo. Anyway, guys, the bug out, you guys know what it is, but such a cool version of this because we were able to do this by hand, just us goofing off in a trailer. Pretty sweet. The bug outs, range from right around $131. But again, multiple variations, multiple types of steel. So check the website. All right, guys, <clears throat> up next, we have a fixed blade knife that Zach carried for, I, I'm almost positive it was a minimum of one month. This is the Guardian 3 by Bradford. And every time I open it, watch this. Do you see that? Every time you pull it out of the sheath, it's like a surprise. You get this leather confetti. It's like, surprise, here I am. Anyway, I oh, know that's kind of goofy. But this knife is not goofy. This knife is awesome. Now, this is a sheep's foot version of the Guardian 3 in micarta. It comes with this really cool Scout Carry leather sheath, which is beautiful, genuine leather, good quality stuff. What I really like about the Guardian 3 is it's small, compact, but even the hams, even the hams can get a good grip around that. I like this one, especially because it's got the sheep's foot blade. To me, it just adds a little extra utility to the tip of the knife. Um, this one is cool though, because Zach was very adamant about carrying a fixed blade for a long period of time. So he would be able to tell you what he thinks about it. Now he loved this knife so much that as soon as he was done carrying it, he said, Kurt, you've got to try carrying this one for a couple weeks. And I did, and honestly, this is probably one of the coolest little fixed blades. If you're looking to scout carry, get a, pick yourself up a Guardian 3 and put it on the back of your belt and you're gonna love this knife. Now, I'm pretty sure this is M390 steel. Yes, yes it is. So quality steel, great micarta, perfect grip for your hand or hams. I don't get it. Hams. And it's a cool knife, man. Throw that on the back of your belt and you can get a Guardian 3, like I said. I don't know why, but I feel like we have a lot of variations of a bunch of knives, but these ones in particular, we have a lot of variety. So check out the Guardian 3 by Bradford. It's a cool fixed blade. All right. Up next, I have got a Spyderco. No! Oh. All right, guys. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. You guys know what it is. It's a Spyderco and it's a PM2. 
It's one of their most iconic designs of all time. So real quick, the paramilitary two, this one is S30V steel. It also has the compression lock. Now, the cool story behind this one was this originally is like a lighter shade of digi camo. Um, but we took it and we were able to do a how to knife video on how to dye your scales. And so we got this really cool blue color. It's like a darker blue, but then if you have it up close and you hold it to a light, it kind of shines through. It's super cool guys. This one is definitely a unique one in the library. I don't know why I forgot to talk about Bessie being the knife library. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Bessie, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Guys, the PM2 is one of the best selling knives of all time for a reason. If you haven't had your hands on a PM2, you need to get one in your hands or hams. Now, this is a big knife and I can choke up. What? The hams are happy with this knife. You can get a PM2 for around $155. Always check the website. Lots of different colors, lots of different options. All right, guys. Last but not least. Bessie has been carrying around the SE. Bessie with the SE. The SE5. This thing is the beefiest knife I've ever held. The tang, the thickness, it's ridiculous, guys. I'm talking like super overkill. It's insane. A couple quick things about the SE5. This one, we've got micarta scales. We have a powder coated blade to help with the corrosion resistance. And this little thing right here, which is kind of cool. I, let me explain this. This is a little nubbin or a dish for when you're out in the woods and you wanna start a fire with a bow drill. Now, if you don't know what a bow drill is, I'm sure we can throw a photo in here to show you what a bow drill is. But the cool thing about this is instead of having to hold the top of the stick for your bow drill, you put the stick in the nubbin and then, Bessie, Bessie, calm down. So you put the stick in the nubbin and then you, you roll your other stick with the string back and forth and it's so you don't wear out your hands. Freaking genius. Also has a big huge pummel, glass breaker, log splitter, whatever you wanna do with it. The cool story behind this SE is this is the best cake knife that you can find on the market. Don't believe me? We'll show you some examples. Anytime we've had an anniversary or someone's birthday or someone moving on from Blade HQ, anytime there's some time to celebrate, we get a cake and we use the SE5 to slice that cake. I don't know if slice is really the best word, but it's more like smash. I'll smash it with a hammer. All right guys, so if you're ever in the market for a good cake knife, or the thickest, toughest beater knife that you can use. This thing can pry, this thing can split wood, this thing can have glitter and cake frosting on it, and it still is tough. So, SE5 is the cake knife, and you can have a cake knife for around $155 on the website. Bessie, what do you think? Do you think it went pretty good? Bessie agrees. Now, if you guys agree that you like this type of video, let us know down in the comments and we will gladly add this type of thing into the mix. Now, the cool thing about Bessie, the knife library, is she has a plethora of drawers with a plethora of knives. I'm talking minimum of a hundred. So, uh, let's actually do a real quick thing. I'm gonna do a random knife. Let's see what we can find. Okay, a Microtech, Ultratech. This one's the uh, Tonto Blade. So, this type of stuff is in the knife library. 
anything from super budget knives all the way up to really expensive knives. If you guys want more life, knife, life, knife, life, knife, library videos, comment down below and we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Welcome to the end screen. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe. If you want to buy some of these knives, jump over to bladehq.com. And if you want to see more knife content, check out the playlist.